Pretty much on every video I get comments asking what are my graphics settings because my game looks so good. So I'm gonna go through my individual settings, but if you wanna go ahead and try and fine tune yours, there's a great video by Albu Performance, um, which I'm gonna go ahead and link in the description if you wanna check it out, go step by step. It's like a 30 minute video almost where you can kind of figure out what works for your individual system. So for my display settings, I have full screen, I have a 3080 graphics card, 240 fresh rate at 1440p. I have dynamic resolution disabled, that doesn't and apply there. I got aspect ratio automatic, but if you want yours to be a widescreen, you could definitely change that. We got the V-Sync disabled, custom frame rate. I have that locked a little bit lower, so I kind of have more consistent frame rate. Uh, my menu and my out of focus are 60 and 30. Brightness is set to 50, no change there. Gamma 2.2, NVIDIA highlights disabled, NVIDIA reflex low latency, I've enabled plus boost. When it comes to quality, my field of view is set to 107. Most people will range anywhere between 105 up to 120 just because your game just looks and feels a little bit better even though at the end of the day it doesn't lead to direct performance performance, uh, but it's always nice to have a, a high definition TV over standard, right? It's just kind of one of those things feels good, but besides that, it is what it is. So if I do aim down sight with lower zoomed optics, it will impact how that looks on my screen, uh, and that's uh, there. I have my screen camera movement set to least, render resolution set at 100. I know some people do some kind of crazy stuff where they double this and shrink the other one. That's what I have mine at. Streaming quality is low. Texture resolution is low. Texture filter anisotropic is high. Particle quality high. Bullet impact spray. I have them enabled. That's because I'll do spray patterns and look at them. And this will also account for sprays. You can disable that one. Not really a big issue on performance. Um, a lot of these, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining because that guy spends a half an hour explaining these. And I'm breezing through these uh, based off of what my findings were from the video. So if you're like, well, that's not right. Why did you do that? Go watch the 25 minute video. We got uh, tessellation disabled, dismemberment and gore disabled, on demand textures disabled. Uh, and then that's advanced is obviously that's not affected there. Filmic strength we have it set to one, film grain zero, a NVIDIA DLSS is balanced, which makes it so anti-aliasing is off. Depth of field disabled, world motion blur disabled, weapon motion blur disabled. Uh, shadow map resolution is set to high. Cache spot shadows enabled. Cache sun shadows enabled. Particle lighting low. Direct X ray tracing disabled. If you're playing the campaign, you don't really care about frames, you want immersion, you probably kick that on. We got ambient occlusion and then screen space reflection both disabled. This is what I have my NVIDIA color settings on. I didn't go through and make all these micro and macro adjustments. That's just pretty much what I have set up. And then this is my Elgato that reads through my OBS. And this is going to look weird picture in picture, but I want to show the OBS settings so you guys can see exactly what I have going on. What we have with the specific Elgato is that when we go over to the filters, you can see for color correction, I have this set to 0.31 so this isn't exactly what it looks like on my screen there's a little bit of filtering when the elgato comes through so if i set this to zero this will look exactly the way it looks on my screen which is kind of a negligible difference when we go ahead and look at that we're not really seeing a huge change there obviously if i put this up to crank saturation you guys will see it but it doesn't change what i'm actually seeing on my screen so normally this could be set to zero. It exactly is going to look exactly like my screen, but I can actually move this up a little bit and that's kind of where it sits. And then when it comes to the NVIDIA overlay, I don't actually have anything set up for game filter. I actually have it completely off, so it doesn't impact any of that. After they went to Caldera, they did the lighting changes. I, I just kind of leave the game as default and it looks great. If you want to manipulate shadows and all this other stuff, it just ends up making the game look all wonky. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Appreciate all the support of the content. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.